Our new video is on an interesting topic, overlap syndrome, undifferentiated connective tissue disorder and mixed connective tissue disorder. Many are confused about these nomenclature. By end of this video you will have a clarity regarding these three. This video is for teaching purpose of entrance. Short videos for fast learning. Subscribe our channel Medical Spirit in YouTube. First we discuss overlap syndrome. Many connective tissue diseases share common signs and symptoms, which frequently makes the diagnosis of a specific rheumatic disease difficult. Rheumatoid arthritis, systemic lupus erythematosus, systemic sclerosis, polymyositis, dermatomyositis, mixed connective tissue disease, and Sjogren's syndrome can present with similar clinical features, particularly during the first 12 months of symptoms. Overall, a rheumatic disease can appear in conjunction with features of one or more other connective tissue diseases, for example, patients can have a combination of rheumatoid arthritis and systemic lupus erythematosus, known as rupus, or systemic sclerosis and polymyositis, defining an overlap syndrome, where the diseases comply with the diagnosis criteria. Sjogren syndrome is most commonly associated with overlap syndrome. In overlap syndrome diseases met diagnostic criteria. Coming on to undifferentiated connective tissue disorder. When a person has symptoms of various connective tissue diseases without meeting the full criteria for any one of them, it is often called undifferentiated connective tissue disease. So full criteria is not met in undifferentiated connective tissue disorder. Now we move on to mixed connective tissue disorder. Mixed connective tissue disease, MCTD, is a rare autoimmune disease, diagnosed when a specific antibody known as anti-U1 ribonucleoprotein is present, and there are features of at least two connective tissue diseases, including systemic lupus erythematosus, systemic sclerosis, polymyositis, dermatomyositis, and rheumatoid arthritis. Although almost any organ can be affected by mixed connective tissue disorder, there are various clinical manifestations that make it more likely to suspect the disease is mixed connective tissue disorder over other connective tissue diseases, Raynaud's phenomenon. Edematous hands and swollen fingers. Arthritis more severe than that of SLE. Pulmonary hypertension differentiates MCTD from SLE and scleroderma. Anti-RNP antibodies in elevated levels, especially antibodies against protein 68 KD. Absence of severe renal or CNS disease. DRB1 asterisk 4 one is a major risk allele. Age group 35 to 40 years. Female male ratio 15, 1. MCTD is a very specific type of overlap syndrome. 100 percentage cases have speckled ANA. We are 